Don't drop it. Shh. Don't jinx me. Dude, if you drop that. Oh, this is maintenance lead. I've been traveling so much this year. I started off like being in Japan. We went off to Dubai, back to Melbourne, over to California, New York. Whenever I'm traveling, I'm not just like sitting by the beach and doing nothing. I'm making content and like there's not really any rest time. It would be really cool to come back to Melbourne and just like chill out for a little bit and so we can get into the habit and the routine of making videos because then I could be more consistent and not have to worry about bouncing from A to B, like different countries and stuff. But then halfway through last year or something, I ended up going over to the UK. When I was on the flight, I overheard two guys talking about VidCon and stuff and they happened to be just sitting in front of me. And like whenever I hear like VidCon or anything to do with YouTube and stuff, I get excited. So I was rude. I ended up butting into their conversation. I was like, ah, uh, excuse me guys, are you talking about YouTube? <laughs> I ended up saying like, yeah, like my name's Silvio. And he's like, oh, I work for a company called Epidemic Sound. I'm like, what do you mean epidemic sound? Like I've been using epidemic sound for ages to get my sound effects, my music and stuff. And so I ended up saying to him like, oh dude, like I've got a YouTube channel. He ended up saying to me, oh yeah, like we'll connect and stuff. And so we exchanged like contact information and everything. But then like I got this email and then he said to me, oh, well like we've got this like creator summit or something in Sweden. I'm like, Sweden? just after I've been to New York and Dubai. You know what's the best part about it? It's 25 hours to fly there. It's awesome. Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, I don't know if I'm prepared for this flight. So we're gonna be flying to Dubai. We have like a three hour stopover or something like that. And then after that, we'll be heading to Sweden. There is this one spiral staircase that I really wanna check out in Sweden. If we can get that one shot, I'll be happy. Let's go. Have you messaged any girls yet? Nah, nah, I haven't, I haven't messaged any girls. What about you? Yeah, yeah, I haven't <laughs> Have you messaged any girls from Stockholm yet? Two. Two? For what purpose? Um. Wait, oh, show us your neck. What is that, dude? Did someone hit you in the neck with like, with a baseball bat oh, or dude, something? There's some mosquitoes in Melbourne. They're really bad at the moment. No, no, I actually walked into a door. While you're busy editing and uh, actually doing work. Yeah, you've been messaging girls. I'm planning, it's an investment. We got this. Apparently, I'm only allowed one carry-on bag. I have my camera bag, but except I have an extra one because I have my computer. I've never had this problem ever. Because I have an extra one, I have to pay $773 just to get this on. I've had a guy once pay 1,200. For what? I'm like, you could just pay, like, buy it, bought a business pass ticket just for his check -in. I might be able to get past the security. Wish us luck. <laughs> Even if I did have that money, there is no chance I would ever pay that because that's just, it's just stupid. I don't know how any airline could do that. It's just robbery. How's it going, man? Good, yeah, sir. Yeah, good. Yeah, good to go. Thank you. All right, it's the moment of truth. I might have to pay $800, which I'm not gonna pay, so I don't know what's gonna happen. Thank you. Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Hi, George, you're ready. Thank you. All good. All right, cool. First stop to buy. <laughs> All right, finally here. Okay. We made it 25 hours later. You know, this is the first time I've ever been flown overseas by like a separate company. I just think that's cool. I think that's like a milestone in my life, to be honest. Hayden Pedersen. Oh, I'm feeling all legit. Raining on and off here in Sweden at the moment. Remember last time, how when we were in New York? 
My camera broke last time it rained and we were shooting. My I'm, A7S broke, but then it like revived from the dead. It was like the Lazarus. Gonna, I'm literally gonna do this. I don't want it to get wet. You look like you're actually holding a cat. Oh, oh what? <laughs> this is so fat. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs>So I'm pretty sure that we actually weren't allowed to be here taking photos in this specific spot, but we thought that there was no one around, but... Don't drop it. Shh, don't jinx me. Dude, if you drop that. Putting your camera over the edge is like so scary. Cause like I'm sort of scared of heights as well. No, I'm not sort of scared of heights. I am scared of heights. So whenever I do this, it's like, ah. I get like a shot of, what do you mean? What do you mean? is like a lot wider. In my opinion, this shot's good and everything, but I think that we can do something to make it a little bit better. So I've got the Luma cubes in my bag. I have like a pretty bright, it beats a phone, you know, cause we use phones in like so many of our photos. It's always good to get creative on a location, but what can we do here? Cause this is like sort of really a small space. Well, we, we could have like thought about like what to wear and stuff for next mm. time, but we're here now. So maybe I'll try and like go down with my Luma cube and you get a shot. See yeah. how that turns out. Okay. Alright, that's the brightest it goes. What? It looks like my hand is glowing. That's sick. Dude, that's so cool. Sick. I'm happy. So going out to this place, it was totally worth like getting drenched in the water and everything like that because these shots, like this staircase, it is actually very hard to get a bad photo in this place. But that said, we went straight to the top of the staircase and that actually wasn't a good idea. At the top, the lighting is pretty average. Like there's no natural light that's illuminating the first staircase that comes around and it kind of makes it look really kind of just blah. We ended up going down like one level and then like you got like all that natural light and everything. We tried that LumaCube thing. I think the idea was kind of cool cause I just wanted to shake it up a little bit, but it just turned out being, yeah, I wasn't able to get my hand in the center. But even if I did get in the center, I think that it's just, but my favorite photo, which is surprising actually, because when you think of doing like a staircase shot, you think of like going straight for the symmetry, just like the whole like swirling towards the lens sort of thing. And that's what we did at the start. But then we tried from a different perspective and we had the bottom of the staircase below the bottom third of the frame. I was in like the top third of the frame. So having a model in it as well added a lot more to the photo. So it's not just a staircase kind of thing. So we have like the leading lines from the bottom coming up to the top third of the frame as well. It allows the viewer's eye to kind of like just be moving around the frame a lot and then having me sitting there actually I don't know if me sitting there is actually good for the photo but I wanted to be in the photo anyway so anyway it was a really fun photo shoot so worth doing it question of the day will there be weekly or monthly photo battles with different challenges like you can't look through viewfinder if you feature this thank you you're the best youtuber thanks man pushing for one every month that's probably like realistic. I think I'll be able to do that. And there's just so much effort that goes into it. So I think that doing it every week would be a bit unrealistic. Anyway, if you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It's up to you. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you again and I'll catch you next time.